Alright, so today we're going to be talking about some biplanes. So the uh, first biplane, it's a fixed, or a biplane is a fixed wing aircraft with two main wings stacked one above the other. Uh, most aircraft in the early years of aviation used a biplane wing arrangement. And here's an example of the biplane wing arrangement. Um, <clears throat> the year of discovery, the first biplane was invented and flown in 1903 by the Wright brothers. Uh, the biplane was a big advantage in World War I in the early 1930s. Uh, here just shows a picture of the Wright brothers flying one. And there's one in World War <coughs> One. Um, where it was flown. It was flown near Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Um, couldn't really, didn't really say exactly where, they just knew it was near Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. And here's, I try to find some pictures. And so here's some, that's kind of more like a glider. And then there's just another picture of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Uh, the credit individuals, it was flown by the Wright brothers. Uh, Wilbur Wright was born in Millville, Indiana on August 19th, 1867, and Orville Wright was born in Dayton, Ohio on April 16th, 1871. Uh, they were both credited with inventing, building, and flying the world's first successful airplane. Uh, Wilbur and Orville Wright, uh, they both got into history books and they followed a legend with the first ever man-powered flight. Um, they invented, built, and flew the world's first successful airplane. Uh, they accomplished this through a lifetime's work and commitment. Um, Orville Wright, he piloted the first biplane, which flew for 12 seconds and covered 120 feet. And this is a picture of him. Um, Wilbur Wright, he was the older of the two, and this is what he looked like. Uh, description of a biplane. The definition of a biplane is a fixed wing aircraft with two main wings stacked one above the other. Um, these predominated in World War I. It was a huge advantage because uh, it had great maneuverability. Um, this is just a picture of a World War I biplane. Uh, the advancements and achievements. Uh, the biplane was a huge advancement in uh, World War I because it was the main plane used. It was the main plane design in World War I. Uh, although biplanes did have great maneuverability, it could not keep up with the speed of the monoplane. And after World War I, they kind of stopped using biplanes. They're only used for like the acrobatic flight and crop dusting. And here's a picture of a World War I biplane, and that's one of the acrobatic ones that do the tricks in the sky, and that's a crop duster. Um, there's different versions of the uh, biplane. In the mid-1930s, Adolf Bussmann proposed a supersonic biplane. Uh, having, it had a narrow gap between the wings which, in which expansion waves and shock waves would interact to reduce drag. Um, a biplane having one sm uh, small wing that's like a lot smaller is called a sequest plane. And this is what that looks like. As you can see right there, that's like the smaller wing.